Hi everybody, my name is Doug. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a pillow. This pillow right here. This is the Spine Align Pillow. Or the full name is, you can see it here, Dr. Loth's Spine Align Pillow. Uh, you may have seen this advertised on the internet in a couple different places. It's not sold in stores. Uh, it is what I would call a premium pillow because it's of a much higher quality than your average store-bought pillow, but you're also going to pay for that higher level of quality. Um, I've seen it fluctuate in price a bit, but it's running around $120, $125, $130. Um, it does have a 90-day risk-free trial period if you don't like it, uh, so that's an advantage. Um, I'll give you just a brief overview first, then I will show myself laying on it so you can see a couple different positions, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Um, so, I have tried this pillow for about three to three and a half months, and it is designed to be more contoured than most pillows. Um, in fact, their advertisements say something like 90% of pillows don't give you the correct support, or maybe it's 99%. So you'll see it's puffy on the ends, but more shallow in the middle. And when I say puffy, I just mean more loft. Uh, this is a dense material. It's not uh, wimpy at all. It's adjustable. There's these zippers here where you can uh, take out some of the foam if you need to or, or add it or just slide it from one side to the other. So the idea is if you are a back sleeper uh, you'll lay with your head in the center, face up obviously, um, and there's a couple different heights. It's hard to see. I'll show you that a little bit. If you're a side sleeper, you would lay on one of the sides. And one of the advantages I've found is, since I do both back and side sleeping, I can roll from my head straight up laying on my back to my side without having to re-fluff um, because there's two different heights built in. So that's a great feature. All right, I'll give you some more detail, but let me uh, change the camera and show you what it looks like when I'm actually laying on it. Welcome back. So here's the side view, obviously. You'll notice there's two different heights. Um, this is just to accommodate people with different body shapes, types, etc. I'm kind of right on the border where I could go either way, but I found the low end to be a little more comfortable for me. And I do feel like laying in this position, my spine is well aligned. Uh, my head is very comfortable. I don't feel the need to roll over or toss or turn or anything like that. If I want to go to the laying on my back position, I just roll naturally to the center of the pillow. And to me, this is where it really shines. I think this is a great back sleeping pillow uh, because it supports my neck, but it also has a little valley. It does say that it can take a day or two to get used to, maybe three or four days or a week, uh, because it's sort of like going to the gym and working out where your muscles might be sore at first. If you've been sleeping on a poorly contoured pillow for a long time, then you switch to this one, your spine has to get kind of back into alignment, so to speak. Um, I didn't have too rough of a transition period. Um, this pillow helps me stay on my back. I'm a combined back and side sleeper, but I want to mainly be a back sleeper because I feel like I wake up feeling better if I've slept on my back all night. But for some reason, my body has this desire to flip onto my side about an hour into my sleep every night. The first night I used this pill, the spinal line pillow, about two hours into my night of sleep, I woke up like startled, I guess you'd say, <laughs> because I was still on my back and it was like... <gasps> Oh, I'm just sleeping on my back, which I'm not used to, which is a good thing. That, that was very positive. It, I'm not saying I don't ever roll over, but it does help me stay on my back more than with a typical pillow. And I think it's because there's kind of this valley. Your body's just not as naturally inclined. Now, again, rolling from your back onto your side is easy to do, but it does take a little bit of conscious effort, which, again, I think that's a good thing. Um, I'll show you what it looks like with my CPAP on now in the event that you're a CPAP user. Forgive the adjustment here. 
There we go. It is a CPAP friendly pillow because I'm on the edge, so there's nothing for it to hit on. It's actually a very comfortable side sleeping with a CPAP. And of course laying on my back with the CPAP is no problem because there's nothing in the way anyhow. Final thoughts on the Spinaline pillow. And by the way, I should have mentioned that it's called Dr. Loth's Spinaline pillow because it was created by a chiropractor, Dr. Loth. Um, Again, the special thing about this pillow is twofold. One is that it has the two different heights, one for side sleeping, one for back sleeping. And secondly, that you can adjust the fill in it. Um, unlike, say, my pillow, which if you saw my earlier review, you know I'm not a huge fan of. It's not adjustable at all other than just bashing it around, which you don't want to do in the middle of the night. So this, again, has these uh, zipper, zipper pockets in each segment, and you can literally reach in and pull out the foam. If you think it's too much, you can just remove it. Uh, or you can move it from one compartment to another. If you want the middle compartment to have more foam than the side compartments, you can do that. Um, in my case, I did some moving around, um, in the middle area especially, but I didn't do any removing of foam. It seemed fine the way it was. But you do have that option, which is really nice. Um, overall impressions, like I said, I have slept on it for a total of about three to three and a half months. Um, and I like it. I think it's a great pillow. Obviously, I wouldn't have kept using it for a full three to three and a half months if I didn't like it. Um, I have some minor back problems, not major, but a little bit of uh, mid-back to lower back pain, and it does make me feel better when I use it. It's a different experience, so it's a little bit of a challenge transitioning from this pillow to a traditional pillow, or vice versa, um, but I think it's good for my spine health and posture, um, so I'll keep using it. Obviously, because of my YouTube channel, I do try other pillows, so I won't be able to use it all the time, but at least some. I would say there's only one disadvantage that I've spotted, and that is that there's no cooling properties. Now, I'm not saying it sleeps hot. It doesn't cause heat. But if you're used to a pillow that has, like, gel foam in it, that has, like, a cooling element built in or a special cover designed for causing coolness, you'll notice a little bit of difference with this. Again, I don't think it sleeps hot. It doesn't cause hotness. Um, but it doesn't do anything to make you cooler than the atmosphere either. So you'll notice that more in the middle of the summer, you know, when it's 100 degrees outside and your air conditioner is having a hard time keeping up. Um, minor, though. I'm only talking like a 5% difference compared to like a gel memory foam pillow in terms of heat. Um, so for most people, I don't think that'd be a big deal. For me, the neck comfort is way more important. Um, again, this has a risk-free trial period of 90 days. If for some reason you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. Uh, the only two caveats are they want you to try it for at least 30 days, like with most pillows and mattresses, just to make sure your body is adjusting. So you can return it basically between day 30 and 90 for a full refund. Um, if you do return it, you are out the shipping. Uh, I think it's about $14. So it's not totally risk-free. If you completely hate it, you're out about $14. Uh, but that's really not too bad. Um, I interacted with the company and they were very responsive, had good customer service. Well, I think you should try it out. Dr. Loth's Spinaline Pillow. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up, uh, share, and subscribe. Uh, I will put links in the description to take you to the website for the Spinaline Pillow, and there you can find a video of how to use it, how to adjust it, that's maybe a little more official than mine. And uh, I appreciate your consideration of my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.